What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about how I finally took the leap into Swift UI and what I learned to take those very, very first steps. So ever since Swift UI was announced in June, I've been getting hounded like, Sean, where are the Swift UI videos? Where are the Swift UI? Make some tutorials. And I'm just like, I gotta learn it too. You know, this is new to me. So uh, I've been waiting till it got out of beta uh, before I learned it because it changed a lot during the betas. And throughout that time, Meng Tu of designcode.io uh, was putting out a lot of good stuff on Swift UI. And I mean, as you can see here in, in the screen, like he was just creating this like beautiful app because Meng is a designer, you know, full time and he also codes as well. But I just really love the way it looked and he was putting out this course. So I knew, I was like, when I finally do decide to, you know, start learning Swift UI, that's the first course I'm gonna do. And what today is, is gonna be a review of that course. Now that I've completed it, now that I've kind of taken my swim in the Swift UI pool, if you will, um, we're gonna talk about what I thought about Meng 2's course. But before we dive into that, I do have to give the disclaimer. Uh, this is a sponsored video by Meng 2 in designcode.io. Uh, however, I reached out to him. Right, because I wanted to say, hey, can we partner on this somehow? Like, I love what you're doing. Uh, maybe I can make a video about the course. But it was under the assumption that it will be an unbiased review. But I'm, I genuinely enjoyed this course, so I am happy to share my experience with this and and show this to you all. And like I said before, what attracted me to Meng Tu's course was just the design of it. it to me, it looked beautiful, uh, and I'm a, just a sucker for good design. And while I don't think developers should be professional designers, I do strongly believe that all developers should have some base level of design skills. What I particularly loved about this course is that because Meng's a designer, like you're kind of getting a two for one in, in this course, right? You're you're going to definitely learn Swift UI. Uh, however, you're also going to kind of like sneakily get a design course as well, because again, Meng is a designer and as he's going through, you know, building the UI here, he's talking about the design decisions, the, the drop shadows, the, the subtle animations, right? Like he doesn't just have things slide in, right? There's always this subtle like 3D transformation rotation. And again, it's not overdone. It's not overbearing to where it just looks like craziness going on the screen. It's just super subtle, nice animation. So the first thing I wanna say about this course is that you're getting a two for one. Swift UI basics and a design course. So you can't go wrong. So let's get into the specifics of the course. So you have an idea of what you might expect should you decide to give it a try. So here we are on the designcode.io. Uh, now, yes, Swift UI is a course on here, but you see there's 24 courses, more coming. You got Swift UI over here. You got Unity if you're interested in game development, uh, AR kit. We got Sketch for basic design skills, learning Swift, learning iOS design, iOS 11 design. Uh, a lot of stuff here, uh, and it is, you know, $9 per month uh, billed annually. So, you know, it is a paid course, but you do get a lot with it. Uh, so let's look into the Swift UI course here. So here's a quick overview of the course. Again, you can see just the beautiful screens, the beautiful design. Uh, it is 22 sections long. It took me about seven to 10 days, and I was doing about an hour or two a night, just to give some perspective on like how long this will take you to get through. And you don't have to have any Swift skills. Uh, don't get me wrong, having some basic Swift programming does help, because there are some sections where uh, he gets into some logic with the combined framework and passing data around. So that might be a little confusing if you have zero Swift knowledge, but that's like, 3% of the course, right? It's a very small amount. Um, so you can jump into this with no Swift knowledge at all. You can be a beginner. Uh, it was great. So let's slide through some of the sections here again so you can see what you can expect. So uh, there's just the intro video. You're gonna learn layouts and stacks. So V stacks and H stacks are the foundation of Swift UI. You're gonna learn all about that. Uh, components and visual effects. You're gonna learn how to refactor your code because if you just wrote all your components in one file, it's gonna get a little crazy. So you learn how to yank out components in their own separate files. Uh, here's my favorite, animations and states. Again, Meng is awesome at creating these really, really nice subtle animations, right? They're not the, they're not the typical engineer animations where it's like, okay, cool, slide in, fade in really good stuff. So that's a, a great course. Uh, and then gestures and events, you're gonna learn how to slide stuff around on the screen. You're gonna learn all about SF symbols. If you're not familiar with that. That is all the new icons that uh, Apple has come out with. They announced at WWDC, I believe it's over 1500 different icons. You're gonna learn how to use those. And then we got creating a, a list with data. Again, you saw that list view. You're gonna pass data from view to view. Uh, we got menu animation and binding animation between screens again the transitions going to learn how to do a scroll view which if you built the scroll view in ui kit you know they can be a major headache uh super simple in swift ui like this was probably one of the most impressive things to me so going to learn about that scroll view uh modal presentation again the new ios 13 modal slide ups from the bottom uh, again meng loves the background blur which you know after seeing this i never really used it in apps but 
after watching this thing, I was like, I'm using that everywhere. Like it looks great, looks beautiful. Like, you know how uh, Apple has the subtle, when a modal pops up, you can see a slight blur from the screen that's under it through it. Uh, Meng shows you how to do that and that's great stuff. Uh, navigation view and lists, again, more of the list, more passing data. Uh, combine. Remember, this is the part that I said was a little tricky if you don't have a lot of Swift uh, knowledge, but if you do have Swift knowledge, you should have no problem. Uh, and then we got tab bar and test device. So, you know, the tab bar is a staple in iOS app. So you're definitely going to have to know how to do that in, uh, in Swift UI. And then of course, dark mode, right? Get that nice, nice dark mode tutorial. So you're going to learn how to do that. Again, this covers like all the new stuff that was announced, accessibility uh, in Swift UI, all that stuff. And then here's like the one little trick here. So it says update code for beta releases. So the thing with this course, like I said, Meng was creating this course like from the minute Swift UI was announced. So a lot of the videos were done in the earlier betas. And like I mentioned at the top of the video, uh, things have changed from beta to beta. But as you can see, Meng does have videos dedicated to updating it from previous betas to new betas. And even if the video isn't 100% accurate, which happens very rarely. Uh, Meng has all the source code from every one of these chapters, like progress along the way, uh, updated to the latest beta. So uh, I like how he breaks it down in between chapters. So if like, say you do the dark mode and accessibility chapter, and for some reason your code's not working, it's not matching up. You can go to that chapter in the source code, download the final version from this chapter, compare your code and fix it. So uh, he provides great resources, all the assets, uh, again, great stuff. Forms and controls, those are introduced in a later beta. Again, scroll animation. And then here's probably my favorite one that he did. And I'm really, really glad he did this because uh, this is adapting for iPad. And for anybody that's developed apps, like cool, you can make something that looks great on the typical iPhone, right? But then you gotta deal with the giant iPads. And then you gotta also deal with the iPhone SE. So the giant 12.9 inch iPad to the iPhone SE is a drastic difference. And I love the fact that he took the time to dedicate a entire video uh, to just adapting for different screen sizes uh, throughout this code. So those are the 22 sections of the course. Uh, and each video ranges from about 10 to 20 minutes. Again, just to give you some context on what you're getting into. But like I said, by the time you finish these, it took me about seven to 10 days doing about an hour or two a night. Uh, you're gonna have this beautiful app that you see here. And what I really liked is because I built this like beautifully designed app, it got me so excited to start building my own stuff in Swift UI. So I can highly recommend this course. Again, this is a sponsored video, but this is a genuine reaction. Hopefully you can hear it in my voice. I'm excited to share this because I left this course with the attitude of like, I need to build an app right now in Swift UI. I can't wait. I had all these ideas going. So uh, hopefully if you decide to try out this course, you have that same feeling as well. Um, but this is how I got my my start in Swift UI. But if you're if you haven't touched Swift UI yet and you're looking to, you know, dip your toes in for the first time, I can't recommend Meng's course enough. Like I said, I I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think it's because I'm just a sucker for great design and the app you're building looks beautiful. So go check out uh, designcode.io, sign up. Uh, there's no special promo code or anything like that. Sign up, there's tons of courses. Even, even if you fly through the Swift UI course, uh, there's a lot more stuff to learn as you can see here. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out the course. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos all the time. We'll see you in the next one.